Hello, my name is Julie Turner and I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Student Achievement. I want to talk about the grading practices that will be used for the remainder of the year. But first, let me express my gratitude for your support and patience as we figure our way through uncharted territory created by the COVID-19 pandemic. Regarding grading, all of the elementary, middle, and high school principals and I, along with the curriculum staff, work together to develop a set of practices that best supports our students in a virtual learning environment. A link to the grading practices during the COVID-19 pandemic document is included in this email. In the document, you will see a set of practices that apply to all grade levels. These include no penalties for late work, clear expectations and feedback by teachers, and opportunities for students to improve on assignments. In the information for each grade band, you will see that the teacher will decide which assignments will apply to the fourth nine weeks grade or semester grade. Students and their families are dealing with a lot due to school closures and the COVID-19 pandemic. Teachers have been encouraged to individualize grading for students, allowing for lots of grace and compassion. To support the success of students, you will see that the last two weeks of school will be used for students to complete missing work or to improve failing grades. No new concepts will be introduced during the last two weeks. Teachers should be available to support students who are trying to complete missing work or attempting to improve on assignments. A unique thing you will see will be a grade of Z, no credit expected, in grades 4 through 12. Since the COVID-19 pandemic has created so many circumstances that are beyond the control of students and their families, we are using the grade of Z in grades 4 through 12 in lieu of awarding Fs. Our hope is that a Z communicates that the course was not completed while lessening the negative impact of F grades. If questions arise as you read through the grading practices document, please contact the school principal for further clarification. The principal and I have discussed these practices thoroughly, and each principal understands that the grading practices are designed to support students, giving them multiple opportunities to succeed and lots of opportunities for grace when they struggle. Again, I thank you for your partnership during this virtual learning experience. I appreciate you for supporting your child's education along with everything else that may be impacting you at this time. Stay safe.